Long-term subscribers and viewers of this channel will remember that I previously did a series looking at the best footballer right now from every country in each of the seven continents, building up to a gargantuan 1 hour and 37 minute video on the best footballer from every country on earth. Those selections were all current, whilst today's video is about the greatest footballers to have ever hailed from every European country. Now, just to be absolutely clear, I'm not promising that we are going to roll this out for all of the other continents and ultimately the entire world as we did last time out. I'll level with you, this took bloody ages, so this video would have to absolutely knock out of the park for me to replicate what we did last time out. As for the criteria, it's very simple. I'm going to look at every UEFA affiliated national team as of the time of recording and to qualify for the country in question, the player must either have been capped by said country or born there and not capped by any other country. The exception of course is in the case of historical changes of territories, for example a player born in modern day Ukraine who played for only the Soviet national team would still qualify for Ukraine. You get the idea. Without further ado, here are my views on the best footballer ever from every UEFA affiliated nation. Albania. Panajot Pano. We are going in alphabetical order rather than in order of ability I should point out and that means we start out in the Balkans with Albania. Albania's national team isn't steeped in greatness, their finest achievement was probably a 1946 Balkan Cup title and Loro Barici was the man who lifted that trophy as Albania's captain. Barici deserves a mention but our choice as Albania's goat is Panajot Pano. Quick, skillful, short and stocky, Pano was nicknamed the Little Pushkas. He was prolific in Albania but was never allowed to leave Albania despite interest from top European clubs due to communist rule. I apologise for the lack of images of Pano and a number of players in this video in our database. Andorra Coldo Andorra is absolutely tiny, with a population roughly equivalent to the size of Brentwood in Essex, so it should come as little surprise that they have never made an appearance either at World Cup or European Championships. There's a slim possibility that you'd have heard of Andorra's greatest ever player, Coldo, whose finest achievement was probably being named on the bench for Atletico Madrid for the 1991 Copa del Rey final. He represented Andorra from 1998 to 2009, and he has been the manager of the national team since 2010. Armenia Henrik Mikatarian. One of only 5 or 6 currently active players to feature in this video, there can be no doubt that Henrik Mikatarian is the greatest footballer Armenia has ever produced. The 30-year-old was absolutely brilliant for both Shakhtar Donetsk and Borussia Dortmund before arriving in the Premier League in 2016. He has struggled to show his best form in England, but he is still the captain and the star man in the Armenian national team, having won eight Armenian Footballer of the Year awards to date. Austria Matthias Schindler The first established footballing nation in this list, Austria, a two-time World Cup semi-finalist who had a particularly strong team during the 1930s. It is from Austria's Wunder team, as they were known, that our all-time Austrian great is selected, and that man is Matthias Schindler. A pioneer of the European game through his grace and intelligence on a football pitch, Schindler was the sport's first great withdrawn forward. He is quite possibly the greatest pre-war footballer that ever lived, and he died aged 35 in suspicious circumstances after the Nazis annexed Austria, and he refused to represent the German national team. Azerbaijan Anatoly Banashevsky. A star of the Soviet national team between 1965 and 1972, Anatoly Banashevsky represented the USSR as they reached the semi finals of the 1966 World Cup and the final of the 1972 European Championships. An outstanding centre forward who peaked young, Banashevsky was another Soviet player caught by Europe's top clubs who was never able to venture beyond the Iron Curtain, although he stated on many occasions they never would have left Baku even if he could have. Belarus, Alexander Helen. The tightest call so far, the title of the greatest footballer from Belarus, is a question of another former Soviet star, Sergei Alyanikov, and former Arsenal midfielder Alexander Helen. It's a close call, but we're going for Helen, who was such a gifted midfield playmaker at his best. Halab's father drove petrol tankers and volunteered to help knock down uninhabited houses around the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, something Halab believes resulted in his early ill health. Halep himself just came to the end of his fifth spell with Bate Borisov and it's unclear just yet whether he has officially retired. Belgium Eden Hazard 
From goalkeeper Michel Prudhomme to second striker Paul Van Himst, Belgium have produced some great footballers over the years. Their current crop are arguably the most talented though, and the likes of Vincent Kompany and Kevin De Bruyne also deserve honourable mentions. De Bruyne is a better footballer than Hazard right now, as far as I'm concerned, but he's only been playing at the highest level for five seasons. Hazard can almost double that, and the 28-year-old has already won more than 100 caps for Belgium, as well as having starred for his country at the 2018 World Cup. He recently left Chelsea to join Real Madrid. Bosnia and Herzegovina Edin Dzeko Two of the greatest Bosnian footballers of all time are active right now, namely Edin Dzeko and Miralem Pjanic, and we feel Dzeko has now overtaken the likes of Safi Susic to become Bosnia's greatest of all time. Pjanic is arguably the more gifted footballer, but Dzeko is Bosnia's talisman, he's the country's most capped player ever, and he is a million miles ahead of anyone else in Bosnia's all-time scoring charts. Powerful, prolific and iconic in his homeland, Dzeko is our choice for Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bulgaria Haristo Stoichkov It's a straight shootout between Haristo Stoichkov and Georgios Burahov for the Balkan nation of Bulgaria, but it's not an easy decision between those two. Asparov, who was nicknamed Gundy, was one of the finest centre forwards prior to his death at the age of 28. Stoichkov was a key man in Barcelona's dream team during the 1990s and dragged Bulgaria to a World Cup semi final in 1994. It is that achievement which saw Stoichkov win the Ballon d'Or to win with the lack of surviving footage of Asparov, which gives the former Sofia star the edge. We have a video all about the great Georgios Burahov for those of you who might be interested. Just search for anything like Bulgaria and HITC7s on YouTube and you'll find it no problem. Croatia Luka Modric From Davos Šuka and Robert Prozinecki to Niko Kovac and Zvonimir Boban, there have been a number of tremendous Croatian footballers who have represented both Croatia and Yugoslavia over the years. As talented as the aforementioned quartet were though, we think Luka Modric has exceeded them all. Without doubt one of the most talented, effective and consistent midfielders of his generation, Modric, has won the Champions League four times at club level and dragged Croatia to a World Cup final at international level. Cyprus Sotiris Kaifas There could be some debate when it comes to the greatest Cypriot football of all time, primarily because Sotiris Kaifas never played any football outside of Cyprus, whilst another player since him have. We find it hard to overlook the prolific Ammonia legend because of that though, and his eight Cypriot Championship Golden Boots, to him with his 1976 European Golden Shoe, the highest accolade ever won by a Cypriot footballer, ensures that he takes top spot for us. Czech Republic Pavel Nedved It's another debatable decision between two Ballon d'Or winning midfielders when it comes to the Czech Republic. The first, Josef Masopust, saw off the competition of Eusebio to win the award in 1962. The second, Pavel Nedved, left Thierry Henry and Paolo Maldini in second and third respectively when he won it in 2003. Both reached the finals and semi-finals of major international tournaments with Czechoslovakia in Masipa's case and the Czech Republic in Nedved's and both were renowned for their stamina, work rate and intelligence. It's a very tight call but we've gone with Nedved, who was an absolute joy to watch over 13 years in Syria. Denmark Michael Laudrup Peter Schmeichel is a very, very honourable mention, but we can't overlook Michael Laudrup for Denmark, who is quite simply one of the most talented footballers to have ever laced up a pair of boots. Pep Guardiola called Laudrup the best footballer in the world, Franz Beckenbauer called him the best player of the 1990s, and Andres Iniesta called him the best player of all time. Laudrup was just a born footballer, so elegant on the ball, impeccable in the pass, and a regular scorer at his best. He was talented enough to go down as an all-time great, but he did still do enough to go down as Denmark's goat. England Bobby Charlton England have a pantheon of great footballers that could rival any European nation. From Jimmy Greaves and Stanley Matthews to Bobby Moore and Neil Franklin, <clears throat> go to www.englandsgreatestdefender.com, but the greatest of all time has to be Bobby Charlton. A fantastic box-to-box -box midfielder, Charlton was tireless, technical, and boy could he hit a ball. Beyond just his ability though, he was also a titan of the English game, at both club and international level. With Manchester United, he survived the Munich air disaster and was the team's talisman as Matt Busby orchestrated a sensational return to the pinnacle of the domestic and European game. 
with England, Charlton became his country's all-time leading goalscorer, a record he held until 2015, and he was a key man when the Three Lions won the 1966 World Cup. Estonia Mark Poom Estonia, only just inside the top 100 of FIFA's world rankings, plays 99th, and one of their greatest ever players is their current captain, Ragnar Klaver. We don't feel he is better than national hero Mark Poom though, albeit it isn't easy comparing goalkeepers with outfield players. Poom won 120 caps for Estonia between 1992 and 2009, and is best known at club level for the 15 years he spent playing in England, particularly a six-year association with Derby County. Poom made over 100 appearances for Derby, the vast majority, coming in the Premier League, and he was the Rams Player of the Year in the 1999-2000 season. Fair allowance. Jones Seaman Edmondson. The second youngest player in this video, Jones Seaman Edmondson is just 27, but we already believe that he is the greatest Faroes footballer of all time. Formerly of Newcastle United in England and a dense in Denmark, Edmondson now plays for Armenia Bielford, who are one of the better teams in Germany's second tier. The Faroe Islands are a small cluster of islands located north of Scotland and midway between Norway and Iceland. Despite a population of just over 50,000, their domestic league and national team have made major improvements in recent years, and Edmondson is at the forefront of that. Finland Yari Lippmannen Finland's two outstanding footballers both previously played for Liverpool, namely Yari Lippmannen and Sami Hippia. Whilst Hippia undoubtedly had the better Liverpool career, it is Lippmannen who will go down as being Finland's greatest footballer. A world-class playmaker at his peak, with Ajax, Lippmannen was a prolific creator and scorer for the majority of the 1990s, and the eight-time Finnish footballer of the year has to take this one. France Michel Platini Two-time World Cup winners France have produced some of Europe's most gifted individuals. There will be outrage in the comments that Zinedine Zidane doesn't take this one, and I would certainly give Zizou the title of the most gifted and indeed the most entertaining French footballer I have ever seen. Michel Platini was the more consistent and the more effective of the two though, as well as being a sensationally gifted footballer in his own right. Europe's finest number 10, unless one includes Johan Cruyff in that category, Platini was an absolute goalscoring machine from midfield, one of the best passes of a ball you could ever wish to see, and probably the third finest free kick taker of all time. The three-time Ballon d'Or winner is the right choice for France as far as I'm concerned. Georgia Murtaz Kurtzalava Georgi Kinkladze is no doubt the best-known Georgian footballer here in England, and he is arguably the nation's finest footballer since breaking away from the Soviet Union. Georgia's greatest of all time has to be Murtaz Kurtzalaba, though, who was among the most formidable defenders in Europe in the early 1970s. A really intelligent centre-half or sweeper, Kurtzalaba, was a fairly short defender at 5 foot and 10 inches, but he was brilliant in the air. He partnered Franz Beckenbauer at centre-back in the 1972 European Championships team of the tournament as the USSR finished as runners-up. Germany Franz Beckenbauer Speaking of Franz Beckenbauer, there's no way we can overlook Der Kaiser when it comes to Germany's greatest footballers. As the most successful nation from the continent of Europe, the Germans aren't short of magnificent footballers. Gerd Muller, Fritz Walter and Lothar Matthäus deserve particularly honourable mentions, but Beckenbauer is the finest non-primary attack-minded footballer of all time. Sometimes credited with inventing the role of sweeper, Beckenbauer is certainly the position's finest exponent. Smart, elegant, tough, creative and authoritative, Beckenbauer had it all, and he goes down as the greatest player from the greatest footballing nation in Europe of all time. Gibraltar Tony Macedo the Gibraltar national team was only accepted by UEFA, and subsequently FIFA, in 2013, but the country's greatest footballer long precedes that ruling. Tony Macedo was born in Gibraltar, and although he could never play for Gibraltar since they didn't yet have a national team, the fact that he never won a senior cap for England means he is eligible here. A Fulham legend, Macedo played 391 games over a 13-year stay with the Cottagers, where many considered him to be England's finest uncapped goalkeeper. Greece Vasilis Hatsipanigas Like Bulgarian legend Georgi Asparov, Vasilis Hatsipanigas is another brilliant but widely unknown footballer who we have a whole video dedicated to for anyone who'd like to learn more about the man who they nicknamed the Greek Maradona. Hatsipanigas was a majestic attacking midfielder born in Uzbekistan. 
the misfortune of circumstance prevented him from ever leaving Greek club Heraklis or representing his country at major tournament, but he is still widely regarded as the most talented Greek footballer of all time. Hungary Ferenc Pushkas Hungary's golden team of the early to mid-1950s contained a number of outstanding footballers. The likes of Sandor Coxis, Laszlo Kubala, Nandor Iriguti, Joseph Bozic, and Florian Alba all deserve honourable mentions, but Ferenc Pushkas isn't just remembered as one of Hungary's greatest footballers, but as one of the greatest Hungarians full stop. Comfortably among the five best centre forwards to have ever lived, Pushkas was a world-class technician with the most lethal left foot the sport has ever seen. Just imagine if he wasn't suspended from all footballing activities for two of his peak years. Iceland Ausger Sigurdsson Former Chelsea and Barcelona forward Adiga Johnson and current Everton star Gilfi Sigurdsson deserve some recognition. Ausger Sigurdsson is rightly considered by most to be the greatest Icelandic footballer of them all. A world-class attacking midfielder best known for his lengthy spells with Standard Liège and Stuttgart, Sigurdsson was an outstanding passer of the ball with a fantastic engine. Israel Mordechai Spiegler There is some debate in Israel as to who is the country's all-time greatest footballer, but we don't think anyone has yet exceeded the talents of the nation's all-time record goalscorer, Mordechai Spiegler. A goal-scoring sensation is scored prolifically for Maccabi Netanya, Spiegler, also scored 10 goals in 13 games at PSG and starred alongside Pele for the New York Cosmos in the 1970s. Italy Paolo Maldini Italy has such a long and illustrious footballing past that one could make a good case for them having the most competition of any nation in this video. I could reel off names like Giuseppe Miazza, Sandra Mazzola, Valentino Mazzola, Silvio Piola, Gianni Rivera, Roberto Baggio, Franco Baresi, and Gianluigi Buffon, and still not have scratched the surface. In the end though, primarily on the grounds that he is the only Italian player who I would say is the greatest player in the history of his position, that position being left back, our choice is five-time Champions League winner Paolo Maldini. Kazakhstan Sergei Kovochkin an avid football and ice hockey fan as a youngster, Sergei Kovochkin ultimately devoted his time to football and he would go on to become his country's greatest ever player. A star man at FC Kaidat, Kovochkin never represented the Soviet Union, but he did score the winning goal for Dynamo Kiev in a pre-season tour of Brazil in front of 200,000 fans in the Maracanã against Fluminense. Kosovo Jevad Perkazi Kosovo are another very young national team whose best player long predates their UA for affiliation. Jevad Prakazi was a really talented midfielder who started for Partizan Belgrade and Galatasaray, winning three league titles in Yugoslavia and two in Turkey. He played for Yugoslavia under 18 and under 21 level, but never won a senior international cap. Latvia Alexander Starkovs Born in the small Latvian town of Madonna, yeah, like that one, but with one N rather than two, Latvia were part of the Soviet Union for the entirety of Alexander Starkov's playing career. A gifted striker who was particularly prolific in the early 1980s, Starkovs spent virtually his entire career with the now defunct FK Dargova Riga. A very honourable mention ought to go to Latvia's record goalscorer since the breakup of the Soviet Union, Maris Verpakovskis. Liechtenstein Rainer Hasler Liechtenstein's two greatest footballers, incredibly, are father and son duo Rainer Hasler and Nicholas Hasler, although that is a little less incredible when you remember that Liechtenstein's entire population is just 37,800. One could argue Nicholas, age 28, and currently is sporting Kansas City in the MLS, has exceeded his father's achievements already, outside of Liechtenstein at least. His father, Rainer, spent more than a decade impressing in Switzerland as a right back though, most notably with Servet, and he's still our choice for now. Lithuania Arminus Nabokovas A rare example of a European country in which football doesn't reign supreme, basketball, is the most popular sport in Lithuania, and that has rather been reflected in the nation's footballing prowess. Arminus Nabokovas was a rare exception though, as a wonderfully gifted attacking midfielder who starred in Austria and Russia in addition to his native Lithuania. Lithuania was part of the Soviet Union for the majority of Nabokovas' career and he won gold with the USSR at the 1998 Olympics, performing 13 caps for Lithuania following independence. Luxembourg Louis Pilot 
Luxembourg is another tiny landlocked European nation, albeit significantly larger than Liechtenstein, with a population of a little over half a million people. Don't be fooled into thinking Luxembourg don't have an excellent go though, because Louis Pilot was a fantastic midfielder. He spent 17 years playing in Belgium, most notably with Standard Liège, and Royal Antwerp, with whom he won four Belgian league titles. A well-rounded, versatile, technical and hard-working midfield player, Pilot, won 49 caps for Luxembourg and won the country's Player of the Year award four times. Malta Carmel Busatil Malta is a small island located between the south coast of Italy and the northernmost point of Libya with a population just under half a million and the smallest capital city in the European Union. We must mention Michael Mifsud, who is Malta's all-time record goalscorer and appearance holder and is still a full international at the age of 38, but we put him second in terms of Malta's best ever footballers in terms of pure talent. Top spot goes to Carmel Busatil, who spent six years starring for Genk in Belgium, in addition to his 23 goals and 113 caps for Malta. Moldova Alexandru Eperenu Joining the likes of Henrik Mikatarian and Luka Modric in the shortlist of current players in this video, Alexandru Eperenu is 32 right now and just about at the peak of his powers. It would be fair to say the Moldovan national team aren't aristocrats of the European game, but Perenu is a solid enough centre-back who has been a regular fixture in both the Russian and Turkish top flights. Currently contracted to Istanbul Bashekshire, Perenu is also Moldova's most capped footballer of all time, with 91 international appearances to his name. Montenegro Dejan Savicevic only Iceland rank above Montenegro when it comes to countries of fewer than 1 million people in the FIFA World Rankings, and they have previously ranked as high as 16th, despite only becoming independent UEFA members in 2007. Recent stars like Mirko Vukanic and Stevan Jovetic deserve to be mentioned, but Montenegro's GOAT predates their independence, and that man is former Yugoslavia star Dejan Savicevic. A world-class attacking midfielder who won the European Cup with Red Star Belgrade and the Champions League with AC Milan, Savicevic came second in 1991 Ballon d'Or voting and he won 56 caps for Yugoslavia. Netherlands Johan Cruyff Despite not being the biggest country in Europe, the Netherlands has produced a plethora of all-time greats. Marco van Basten, Ruud Kroll and Frank Rijkaard all deserve mentions, along with the likes of Ruud Hullet, Dennis Bergkamp and Ruud van Nistelrooy. The Dutch GOAT though, and arguably Europe's GOAT, is of course Johan Cruyff. A magnificent individual footballer and a pioneer of the beautiful game, it really was a beautiful game, when Johan Cruyff was playing. Cruyff could be accused of arrogance, individualism and disinterest at times, but few have moulded the game off and on the pitch quite as spectacularly as he did, winning a trio of Ballon d'Ors in the process. North Macedonia Darko Pancho a teammate of Dejan Savicevic is at Red Star Belgrade when the Serbians won an unlikely European Cup, Darko Panchev, peaked that season. He ruled Europe with an incredible 40 goals in 43 games, winning the European Golden Shoe and coming joint second in Ballon d'Or voting. A huge move to Inter Milan came 12 months later, which proved to be a disaster for a variety of reasons. It pretty much ended Panchev's remarkable career at the age of 26, but the start of it was so outstanding that he still goes down comfortably as North Macedonia's greatest ever player. Northern Ireland George Best Some of the greatest players from the island of Ireland hailed from Northern Ireland, and we must give an honourable mention to Pat Jennings. George Best is quite possibly the most gifted footballer from the entire British Isles though, never mind just Ireland. For four or five years, Best was unplayable on his day, winning the European Cup and the Ballon d'Or before his 23rd birthday. Best was a spectacularly gifted wide player and arguably the first British footballer to really transcend the sport itself and become a cultural icon as much as a footballing one. His peak was brief and his demons were well documented, but George Best is undoubtedly the best Northern Irish footballer to have ever lived. Norway Rune Bratzer Premier League stars like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and John Arnorisa may be the first names that come to mind for the majority of our viewers when thinking about Norwegian footballers, but Rune Bratseth is widely, and rightly, considered to be the greatest Norwegian in the sports history. Born in Trondheim, Bratseth made his name with Rosenberg, before Werder Bremen pulled off one of the signings of the century by snapping him up for just €93,000 in 1987. 
but that Seth would spend the rest of his career in Bremen, a total of seven years, during which time he became one of the most accomplished defenders in Europe, operating as a sweeper. He was a key man, making the Bundesliga team of the season three times, as Werder Bremen won two Bundesliga titles and two DFB Pokals. Poland Robert Lewandowski This was a really difficult one as Poland have a number of outstanding players from yesteryear and one superstar right now. Choosing between the likes of Kazimierz Dyna, Zbigniew Boniak and Robert Lewandowski is far from an easy decision, but in the end, I'm edging towards Lewandowski due to his consistency and relentlessness at the highest level. He has scored 371 goals in 574 games at club level, as well as being Poland's all-time record goalscorer and appearance holder, and he should still have a few years left in the tank at the age of 30. Portugal Cristiano Ronaldo Portugal have three outstanding Ballon d'Or winning footballers, but only one of them was born in mainland Portugal. That one was Luis Vigo, whilst Eusebio was born in Mozambique, then known as Portuguese Mozambique, and the best of the lot, Cristiano Ronaldo, was born on the island of Madeira. Any debates about Portugal's go probably ended around 2012-2013, but Ronaldo has gone boldly on since then, and now only really has Johan Cruyff for competition in any discussions about the continent's finest footballers. An incredible athlete with a first-class work ethic, Ronaldo has gone from a tricky wide player to a completely dominant all-encompassing left winger, and now finally, a cold-blooded goalscorer in the final stage of his development. He is by far and away Portugal's all-time record goalscorer and appearance holder, and he has won the Ballon d'Or a joint record five times. Republic of Ireland Roy Keane Another easy decision for the Republic of Ireland, it's quite possible that the attitude and application of Roy Keane early in Cristiano Ronaldo's career had a major impact upon him long term. Keane is often described as a hard man and inspirational leader, but that does him a dreadful disservice. I have an entire video dedicated to Keane, which some of you might enjoy if you search HITC7s and Roy Keane, but the Irishman was a brilliant footballer who was intelligent, efficient, energetic, strong in the tackle, he had a brilliant first touch, he rarely wasted possession, and he was an expert at getting the ball into the feet of his team's centre forwards really quickly. Romania Georgi Hadji There have been several great Romanian footballers over the years, but there are two that stand out above the rest. Nikolai Dobrin in the 1970s and Georgi Hadji in the 1990s. Both were among the finest attacking midfielders of their generation, but our Romanian subscribers would never forgive us if I didn't go with Hadji. A true Romanian icon, Hadji was stupendously talented and tenacious as a left-footed number 10 who sometimes got on the wrong side of officials. Despite starring for the likes of Stau Bucharest, Real Madrid, Barcelona and Galatasaray, Hadji will always be best remembered for his performances at the 1994 World Cup. Russia Lev Yashin As with Romania, there are two footballers who stand out when it comes to Russia, namely Lev Yashin and Edward Streltsov. There is no doubt that Streltsov is the greatest Russian outfield player to have ever lived, but Yashin is widely regarded as the finest player from the entire planet in his position, making the automatic choice here. The Moscow-born shotstopper revolutionised the role of goalkeeper in Europe at least, adding sweeper elements, becoming more commanding of his area and more creative in his distribution. Yashin is still the only goalkeeper to have won the Ballon d'Or, he spent his entire club career with Dynamo Moscow and he won 74 caps for the Soviet Union. San Marino Massimo Benigni Being the best footballer from San Marino may be roughly equivalent to being the funniest character in Mrs. Brown's Boys, but there is one player who stands out head and shoulders above all the others. That man is Massimo Benigni, a three-time Serie A and one-time European Cup winning midfielder who spent seven seasons at Juventus. A tireless defensive midfielder and expert reader of the game, Benigni's work rate in defensive midfield allowed Michel Platini the freedom of the park in Juventus midfield throughout the 1980s. He was born in San Marino, won 19 caps for San Marino, and is undoubtedly the country's greatest ever player. Scotland Kenny Dalglish Scotland has had so many exquisite footballers over the years, from Alan Hansen and Huey Gallagher to Graham Souness and Jimmy Johnston, but the two outstanding candidates are Kenny Dalglish and Dennis Law. I ummed and ahed over this one for a while, but whilst Law was undoubtedly the better goalscorer, Dalglish takes it as the more gifted all-round footballer. 
a star at Celtic, and then the talisman at Liverpool for 13 years, Dalglish, was an outstanding all-round forward, and he scored 30 goals from 102 caps for Scotland. Serbia Dragan Jalic Comfortably the finest Serbian footballer to have ever lived, Pele described Dragan Jalic as the most natural footballer he had ever seen. Quick, elegant and skillful, Jalic was probably the best crosser of a ball in the world for most of the 1970s. Serbia was a part of Yugoslavia when Jalic played for the national team, and he was Yugoslavia's star man. Jalic spent the vast majority of his playing days with Red Star Belgrade and made the European Championships team of the tournament in both 1968 and 1976. Slovakia Jan Poplua Whilst Marek Hamžić has been Slovakia's outstanding player of the modern era and certainly deserves an honourable mention, the finest footballer, to have hailed from the landlocked central European nation is Jan Poplua. In a fantastic 24-year career, Poplua made the World Soccer World eleven on three occasions and won 62 caps for Czechoslovakia. In what was a talented Czech side, their finest achievement was reaching the final of the 1962 World Cup. A first-class sweeper, Bob Lua, was smart, brilliant in the air, and accurate in the pass. Slovenia Jan Oblak Jan Oblak and Branko Oblak, who are of no relation, are arguably Slovenia's two greatest footballers. It may seem a tad premature, but we're going with Jan as Slovenia's GOAT, even though he's only 26 years of age. Goalkeepers tend to develop and peak later than outfield players, Bar Black has been one of the best goalkeepers in the world for the last four years, winning four consecutive Zamora trophies. A very honourable mention must go to fellow shot stopper Samir Handanovic. Spain Alfredo Di Stefano Alfredo Di Stefano does meet our criteria in as much as he represented Spain at international level, but I can't say that I'm particularly comfortable with his selection. Di Stefano was, to all intents and purposes, Argentinian. With that in mind, my actual Spanish choice would have to be Xavi. The likes of Luis Suarez, Francisco Hento and Andres Iniesta could be mentioned, among others, but Xavi was the epitome and metronome in the greatest Spanish side ever assembled. A genius and a joy to watch, he takes this one if you, like me, don't feel as though Di Stefano is really Spanish. Sweden Gunnar Nordahl Three-time World Cup semi-finalists and one-time finalists Sweden have had some superb footballers over the years, with the likes of Gunnar Gren, Nils Liedholm, Henrik Larsson and Zlatan Ibrahimovic among the outstanding candidates. Our choice is Gunnar Nordahl though, who is among the greatest centre forwards to have ever lived. The score of 442 goals in 504 games at club level, and 43 goals from 33 caps for Sweden, Nordahl, is AC Milan's all-time record goal scorer and the most prolific Swedish international of all time. Switzerland Andre Abiglan Switzerland have a decent little national team at the moment, but one thing they're lacking is genuine firepower and a top-class centre-forward. That's why we picked Andre Abiglan as the one player we bring back for the Swiss if we could in our pre-2018 World Cup Legends video, and he is rightly considered by many to be the finest footballer from Switzerland. A born goalscorer who scored prolifically in Switzerland and France, Abiglan averaged a goal a game at the peak of his powers. Turkey Zeki Riza Spirel It's a really difficult decision when it comes to Turkey between Zeki Riza Spirel and left there Kucha Kajonis. Kucha Kajonis proved his credentials outside of Turkey unlike Spirel, but Spirel played in an era where he was never likely to be presented with that opportunity. In the end, we have gone with Sprell, an instinctive marksman who bagged 470 goals in 352 games for Fenerbahce and scored 15 goals from 16 caps for Turkey. Also, I apologise to any of our Turkish viewers for my pronunciation. Ukraine Ole Blocking I'm starting to sound like a broken record with this, our penultimate inclusion, but there are so many nations with two outstanding candidates, and it's another difficult one with Ukraine between Ole Blokin and Andrei Shevchenko, both of whom were among the best players in Europe at their best. Shevchenko is a fantastic striker and the more prolific of the two, but Blokin probably just had a few more strings to his bow. It's a tight call, but we're going for Blokin, who held the record for both goals and appearances for the Soviet national team, and won a Ballon d'Or when Dynamo Kiev won the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup in 1975. Wales John Charles 
The likes of Billy Meredith, Ian Rush, and Gareth Bale all warrant mentions, but one man towers above all others in discussions regarding the greatest Welsh footballers of all time. That man is John Charles, aptly nicknamed the Gentle Giant, who is the only player to have been elected to a World Eleven in two different positions. A truly formidable ball-playing centre-back who was scrupulous in his defensive duties when deployed there, whilst also being unplayable, at centre-forward, John Charles was among the most complete players in the history of the game. Smart, composed, brilliant on the ball, and virtually unbeatable in the air, he was top scorer in both Serie A and the First Division. That's it for today's video. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Since you've got this far and in exchange for eternal good luck and happiness, why not subscribe and turn on notifications for the ever brilliant HITC sevens. Also, for mobile users, if you click on your screen now, there should be some suggestions of other videos YouTube thinks you might like, and I agree with YouTube. If you're watching on desktop, they should appear of their own accord. Thank you all for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a brilliant day.